All right, hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video uh, comparing the three flagship LTE devices on Sprint, the Galaxy S3, the HTC Evo 4G LTE, and the Galaxy Nexus, all testing their LTE capable speeds. Um, it, it'll give you a preview of actually Sprint LTE along with basically compare the three phones. Obviously, this isn't gonna be a very scientific test. I'm gonna run five speed tests on each device and then average it out and we will see whatever phone basically gets the best speeds. I'm gonna put them in the same spot and then we will test it out. So, of course, on my Galaxy S3, I'm connected to 4G. You'll see that up at the top in the notification bar. I'm on 4G. I'm actually pretty close to a tower at the moment. So, let's go ahead and do it. So, I'm gonna go into the speed test app. Actually, my sister is, so thanks to her for helping out. Uh, go into Tools, and under Tools, you will see, just to make sure all the variables are the same, Overland Park, Kansas server, megabits per second, and better performance. So, now, let's go ahead and start the, start the uh, speed test. So, begin the test. And it's going to run through and do, sorry, it's a little bit of a glare. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Very awesome. So right there, download 25.77 megabits per second and 13.03 megabits per second upload. That is crazy good. So awesome. So go ahead and restart the test. I'm actually going to do it five times, as I said, and then hopefully it'll be consistent and I will average the uh, results of the five and then I'm going to go ahead and be back. So you'll see 24.58, 13.95, very consistent and very awesome. So I'll be back after I run this three more times. All right, so we decided to do it four times, not five. And out of these four times, you will see up at the top, um, very consistent actually so uh, you'll see download speeds all stayed very consistent same with upload and ping so that's very good to see consistent speeds like that again speeds deter uh, can be based on the amount of users on the tower again I mean I doubt many people are on this at the moment that's why speeds are so good so I would expect them to be worse um, in the future just due to the amount of people that are going to be on it but again so it averaged 25.19 down uh, megabits per second down Download speed and 13.32 megabits per second upload speed so very very promising and it looks great uh, Sprint LTE is so fast and runs amazing I'm actually gonna be doing a video doing some real-world testing doing things like upload a YouTube video on my PC and all that good stuff so um, anyways let's go ahead and jump into the Evo LTE now all right, and we are now ready to test on the HTC Evo 4G LTE. So we'll go into that speed test application. Go ahead and double check tools because we want to make sure all the variables are the same. Again, Overland Park, Kansas, megabits per second, better performance, and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and hit start test. So begin the test, and we will see what uh, it looks like. Again, on the Galaxy S3, it looked great. Speeds were awesome. Um, and looking pretty similar to this, actually, 23.52 megabits per second download, 12.93 upload, and awesome. So again, I'm going to run it four times, and I will be back once th once it's done, and we will basically average it out and compare them. So again, look, it looks like it's getting better, so we'll see. All right, so ran the test three more times. The bottom one's actually a trial run we ran a little bit earlier, so check out the top four. And these top four, you will see it progressively got better as we kept running the tests. Ping stayed about the same, but pretty much everything upload and download speeds continue to increase. And you'll see it topped at 28.67 download and 15 megabits per second upload. So that is crazy good, amazing, which averaged at 26.06 megabits per second download and 14.22 megabits per second upload. So it is right now in the lead and beating the Galaxy S3. So I mean, it was about one megabits per second better download and really about one megabit per second better upload so I mean not too big of a difference obviously there are many variables to go into it so uh, again let's go ahead and now test the Galaxy Nexus all right and we are on to the last device the Galaxy Nexus from Sprint and we are going to test LTE Sprint LTE on it again of course connected up at the top got that nice 4G icon right there and we're going to go ahead and go into it so hop into the speed test application and we will go to tools down there at the bottom and again double check Overland Park Kansas megabits per second better performance we are good to go make sure all the variables are the same and we can begin the test so let's go ahead and do a speed test and we will see what happens while this is running 
Uh, Alexa, show your left thing, your left hand up uh, to the camera. Check out that rock that she has got. Again, she is engaged. Congrats! <laughs> All right, sorry. So test is done. Um, looks like it's worse than the other two devices. 20 megabits per second, 10 megabits per second upload. Uh, so again, I'll run the test three more times. Uh, the ping looked pretty good though, so um, we will run this test and see what uh, the results look like. Looks like they're getting better. Maybe it'll do what the Evo 4G LTE did and just considerably get better. So twice more and I will be back. All right, so went ahead and finished up the speed test on the Galaxy Nexus, and I mean, not as good as the other devices, but really still very good. Um, you'll see it actually averaged 22.05 megabits per second download speeds and 10.20 megabits per second upload. Uh, again, it was very consistent. It did uh, slightly increase at the end with that last speed test. So it really, um, I mean, they're all very comparable. I wouldn't necessarily say one device is better than the other. It's kind of tough to really test this kind of stuff because there's so many variables involved, but I figured you'd want to see some of these awesome Sprint LTE e speed tests and might as well just do them on all the devices at once so you can see them all because I know you guys would be like what's it like on one or the other but again you really can't compare the three I honestly don't necessarily know if the Galaxy Nexus's LTE radios are worse or not because really there's so many variables involved but again the winner uh, from these speed tests goes to the HTC Evo 4G LTE with 26.06 .06 megabits per second download and 14.22 megabits per second upload so great speeds especially those upload speeds those are ridiculous ridiculous uh much better than my home one so i definitely want to upload some youtube videos via this uh this internet so amazing speeds there with sprint lte i love testing this stuff out let me know what you think be sure to leave a comment be sure to subscribe as well follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up